What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter, Lil J, FBG. That's a topic I'm always asked about. People want to know if they still cool. Uh, I guess they seem to say cheese interview where Lil J kind of spoke on them a little bit, said he doing them, they do them. Uh, so a lot of people felt like it's an issue between them. Then it was blogs that floating around the internet that like FBG Young was saying, don't promote, you know, Lil J music and shit like that. Uh, I didn't really see the post where he said that, but his videos that he said that and shit like that. Um, I couldn't verify. Uh, I recall j Main saying Young was kind of upset that he was posting his music. Um, I think people got this a little twisted. Uh, as far as the outcome, I think if Lil J was to come out of jail and do a song with FBG, that exactly would shoot them both off, in my opinion. Uh, Lil J already there. But just remember having a squad and make Lil J look like that old Lil J, you know? People dope and they hype and they happy to see Lil J out, but the same people who was in those videos, we don't see him. Remember, he not really fucking with FBG, allegedly. We don't see Buddy in the videos. A lot of people he was cool with kind of passed away. So we just really see Lil J in the videos, you know? He going against a lot of people. Lil Durk them strong. You got Lil Durk, you got OTF, you got Glow Gang, you got THF, you got other crews and shit. I'm not sure if Lil J want to go in a battle by himself. Plus, he kind of battling his homeboys. Well, that's at least how the internet look at it. Uh, Cash Out actually said he speak with Lil J every day. I believe that, too, because you got to remember, they beef was like outside noise. It was Lil J saying they wasn't helping them. You know, those guys wasn't rich. They didn't have multi-million dollar deals. They had the same life they had when you was out of jail. They had bills. They were struggling everyday life. It's the same life when you got locked up, you know. And then Lil J beef with, like, FBG is, like, you know, hearing rumors about them saying they didn't really help him, then gay rumors and shit like that. Outside noise, you know. Those guys had a little beast when he got locked up and gone for a long time. The beef ain't really like, you did something to me, I did something to you. It's that outside noise shit. I think that could be cleared up. Rumor, speculation. Nobody never did nothing to nobody. Lil J ain't hurt those guys. Those guys ain't hurt Lil J. In my opinion, they can come from that, you know. Uh, now, is they? I'm not sure. You know, I don't think those guys hate each other. I still think it's a love deal. You know, Lil J from 62nd and St. Lawrence, like he say, those guys rapping 63rd, they knew each other before they was famous. You know, so I think it's still a little bit of love. So it might be covered up, but once you start removing it, I think you're going to see the love somewhere in there, you know, in my opinion. That's why I want to ask y'all. Do you think Lil J should link back up with FBG, drop a record, kind of take them off, bring the FBG movement where it needs to be? Because FBG movement kind of climbing back where it's supposed to be. I think Lil J will clearly take it all the way off. And I think Lil J will benefit by having a squad with him, too, in my opinion. That's why I want to know. Do you think Lil J should link back up with FBG? Or you think Lil J cool doing what he doing? I love to know what you think. It's on the truth. Tell the street for it. <laughs>